is just fantastic. Captain's Lock, subdates 21028.9. Rooster Teeth is a weird name. I may well change it if I decide to put the entire team in the cubes to the Toothless Cocks. There could be an a cappella group. I'll put it to the senior staff, and if they hate it, I'll drop them all out of an airlock. Welcome everyone to the exhibition of stupid people. And this is quite appropriate really, because there's more than one person we are going to be focusing our attention on. In fact, it's a channel. Multiple channels. Basically a bloody network akin to that of Machinima, who I'd only ever heard of because of Wings of Redemption. Rooster Teeth have a number of different outlets. And because of this, many of you will have heard of them in some manner. I myself have only heard of them because of the channel Achievement Hunter, which was hosted by Ryan Haywood. We'll get to him soon. Understandably, as the years have gone by, Rooster Teeth has been in decline. They are more notably known for people leaving and making videos explaining why they left, like BuzzFeed and Machinima. <laughs> With Rooster Teeth, there are three main employees that we should talk about. These three employees are basically versions of Minilad and Onision. In fact, the list is so long at this point of creators that they are similar to... I'm starting to understand why people want to police the internet more to protect children. And at the same time, why many look down upon those who say they are YouTubers because of some of the rather shady things those YouTubers do. A taste for younger blood appears to be the prevalent theme. A theme that the majority of us creators would very much like to end so as to not have some kind of stigma or stereotype attached to us. Guilt by association doesn't have the same values as us. To start, we should probably quickly address Adam Kovic, who, formerly of Rooster Teeth, took nudes in the Rooster Teeth offices, yes, they were confirmed in the pictures themselves, and cheated on his wife, Classy. This is not, by the way, relevant to Ryan Haywood, but someone is undoubtedly going to say, Omegon, why didn't you address Adam Kovic? Because you can't compare the two. That is the answer, and I want to make this one quite clear. There is nothing comparable. Adam Kovic screwed up badly, and hopefully he has been punished for that. He lost his job with Rooster Teeth, and if he loses his wife, it would make 100% total perfect sense. Since all of that, Adam Kovic deleted all of his social media accounts. He went scorched earth, because as is well established... Once you delete something from the internet, it totally never, ever, ever, ever stays, remains, exists. While Adam Kovic is more commonly known for Funhouse, Ryan Hayward, who is going to be the centerpiece for this entire video, worked on achievement hunting, and I knew of him. He was moderately successful. It wasn't a bad format, and I'll be honest, a lot of it did interest the gamer in me because at one point I was in fact one of those weirdos that thought, yes, I'll try and get all the achievements until I realised I came into Assassin's Creed Brotherhood a few years late, and the online aspect was not anymore, meaning I couldn't get all the achievements and I almost cried. So on October the 6th, 2020, Tessa Graves uploaded the video to her channel. It could be argued her video was a hit piece. I met Ryan in 2017. I was born in 2000. Um, my birthday was about a month before PAX, a little bit over a month. I turned 17. Ryan was born in 1980. At this point, he was 36. I was a huge fan of Rooster Teeth, had been for quite a few years. He was brought to PAX 2017. It was PAX Prime, PAX West, by a different... He wasn't there with Rooster Teeth, he was there as a streamer. I talked with him on Instagram, talked with him on Snapchat. He was really nice. It was great. One day I sent a photo to him that wasn't meant for him. It wasn't anything like dirty. It was like from here up, I you could see my bra strap and I was making a dumb face. Like my hair was pulled up. Like I wasn't trying to be attractive in any way. And the caption was something like time, time to wash away the dirt and the sins or something like that. I completely meant to send that to a friend, a close friend. He responded in a certain way and things kind of took off from there. This relationship was 
on and off for about two years. There were plans to meet up. However, there were some flaws within the video itself and certain behavioral patterns on other social media platforms that made many downvote the video and not believe a word she said. This could be the fact that she admitted herself she deceived Ryan Hayward with her age. Could be the fact that she herself went all out on the attack and admitted she was trying to destroy him and his wife. My view on it upon watching the video was, she's a very young person who has been scorned, yeah, Optics are going to mean very little to her when it comes to getting back at somebody that essentially fobbed her off. Tessa did have to provide an update courtesy of a pinned tweet on her profile linked down below explaining some of the details she omitted or failed to explain adequately in the video, which point out that Ryan reached out to her when she was 17. She was not part of any cult that liked to screw YouTubers, although that is up for debate by many. She claims also to not have released it for attention, but instead to prevent others from being taken advantage of in the way Ryan did her. That pinned tweet was released on October the 9th, and I do believe it needed time before we could actually fully get a scope of a situation for her to be able to then realise she hadn't explained things correctly, and in doing so, was ignored. Considering we live in a semi-Me Too environment, I am a little surprised, but it turns out the internet isn't overly fond of people almost kind of ish lying to them or misleading them. So it wasn't until a few days later, on the same day that pin tweet came out, that Michelle Vologs released her video. Now this is the one that then led people to believe Tessa was telling the truth, because Michelle had something Tessa did not. Michelle had pictures. Pictures of them together. Somewhat damning pictures of them together in a hotel bedroom. Not pictures that look akin to that of a meet and greet. No offence Tessa, of course. Understandably, Michelle's video got a lot of attention, and when people realised there was something shady going on, yeah, this one was far better received, and that of course led to more positive interactions for that of Tessa. No doubt both will still receive negatives regardless, because stands, yo. Turns out, Ryan Haywood is like Mini Lad, but he actually took it the next step. Oh dear lord. This isn't looking good for you, is it, Ryan? Aren't you married? On October the 10th, merely a day after Michelle's video and Tessa's pinned tweet release, Lee Sucks, follow her on Twitter by the way, put out a Twitter thread. It is a lengthy Twitter thread, and has within it a lot of Snapchat message screenshots, which would include money he sent to her, and pictures of them together at RTX in 2018, and RTX 2019. There is a lot more to that particular story, and it is referenced in a Google Doc, which is linked down below. I highly recommend you read it, because it shows that Lee herself, while a fan, didn't realise what was going on. She somewhat understandably didn't notice. And while she was a consenting adult, it is quite easy for a grown-up, a married man, to take advantage of another person for being a fan and get them to do things for them, which he did. So when this all started to come out, Ryan Haywood wanted to play a little damage control. His version of damage control, though, wasn't good damage control. He went up onto his Snapchat and tried to, well, hmm, yeah, Scorched Earth again, really, isn't it? Didn't work, though. Lee got screenshots, which alerted him that she was doing it which led to another conversation between them, where he tried to use the guilt of all that he had lost, his wife and his children, to try and protect himself so he could be a better man. I'll be honest, at your age, Ryan, you had your chance and you decided, YOLO, swag, let's go and have some fun with very, very young ladies, some of whom were a bit too young, don't you think, Ryan? Hmm, yes... Not a good look for Rooster Teeth, is it? That's two employees doing rather shady things, and granted, the only thing that ties them together is the fact they both cheated on their wives. But it does paint a damning picture, doesn't it? Well, understandably, Rooster Teeth dismissed them both, and eventually they themselves did a live stream talking about it, which was rather interesting. I will link it, of course, down below. It shows a more human side, but I'll be honest... Much like Funimation, 
they took their time dealing with this. And because they took their time dealing with it, many people don't believe any sincerity that has come from them. When in such a privileged position, the one like that of Rooster Teeth as an entire network, you have many employees who are trusted, who are trusted to entertain their audience, not to take advantage of them. In the context of video gaming, you're not there to essentially G-R-O-O-M them. You're really not. Ryan Hayward, like Minilad, like Davi Vanity, like Onision, is another damning statement of where all that power comes from that responsibility to entertain the masses, and it was the masses at one point. The responsibility is thrown in the bin in favour of rocks off, which is utterly unacceptable behaviour. I guess we should quickly address where they are now. Who knows? Adam Kovic, as earlier stated, went scorched earth, as did Ryan Haywood. Rooster Teeth have tried to now hire more people, YouTubers, to join them and help them rebuild the brand. I think I speak on behalf of the majority of creators when I say, no, we wouldn't want to be associated with something that looks like a terminal stage for bollock cancer. And as a final thing, I couldn't help but notice Jeff Ramsey's also been accused. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear.